What's up, everybody? I paid over $200 for this bottle, and let's see if it's worth it. Right now, God, I hope it is. I've been waiting to try this bottle because I spent enough money on it to make myself hurt. And it's a cool looking bottle, but I have had bad experiences with Willits before. Now, this is the eight year bourbon, it's a weeder. And so I like weeders, so maybe they can change my mind here. For $200, whatever, $20 I paid for this, it's gonna have to be pretty damn awesome. So, let's crack this sucker open, if I can. How are y'all tonight? Great? Great. And let's see. Eh. I kind of know that feeling, don't you? Anyway, will it? Let's give it a nice little pour here. Well, that's good. It looks like whiskey. That's a plus. All right. So will it eight year? Distilled for, er, from a... Sometimes you can't help it. You get a call. When you're filming, whatever. Mom, I'll call you back. All right? Just give me a second. I'm just trying to do this shot real quick. All right? I can't. I mean, I could pour it back in and report, it, but why? That'll be fun. All right, so we'll get back to it. All right, it's an eight-year bourbon uh, distilled from a mixture of corn, wheat, and malted barley. This Kentucky straight bourbon is unchill filtered. If you, if that hits anything from a video, watch the 107 video, the blind that I did. Yeah, it's cool. To maintain its original character. You know, you just try to do something where nobody's got anything, right? And it's dumb for me to have my watch on, right? But I was, nobody's talked to me all day, all day. And now when I'm shooting, bing, bong, call, text, text, text. <sighs> Excuse me. While we have this technical moment. Shh. Anyway, will it, eight year. Wait for a call, wait for a message, okay. I'm not gonna give a lot of tasting notes right now because apparently I'm needed. It's pretty good, yeah. I kind of catch a little bit of that wheat. It's not bad. Is it $200 good? No. Man, I didn't give any, I didn't even smell it much because I'm all flustered because everybody's giving me messages and calls. Wonder if I should check the weather. Just watching, one sec. I'll edit this out. Do, 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 do. Oh shit. All right. <sighs> Back. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm losing my damn mind over here. All right. So, what am I catching from this thing? I might be nose dumb right now. You know, you catch the, the standard whiskey kind of notes, you know, the oak, the vanilla. There's a little bit of funk there. It's all right. I can get into like an almost a bready note. Nothing off-putting, just nothing that really strikes me real strongly. Finish on the back that's kind of interesting. It's got to be, 
I always try to breathe through my nose to see if I catch something a little bit different. I did an EHT barrel proof, the new batch, the 12. I did a review on that. That hit me with all kinds of different flavors. This one is more just ordinary. I know it's not ordinary, but that's what I'm catching from it today. Might have to come back to this one in a different time too. Because I've had Willet Purple Tops that aren't the bur like they, they're bourbon, but they're aged differently. And they have a considerable amount of funk to them. Okay. Yeah, that's delicious pour. It's great. I. Uh, it's got a decent mouthfeel. It's not overly oiled. Uh, oily, you know, for being an unchill filtered. It does have some residual mouth like feel to it. On like the top of my mouth, I can still feel that it's like that oil's there. So maybe I just need to give it a little bit of time. Tastes great. You know, it's definitely that traditional bourbon flavor. That wheater flavor that I, I get. Yeah, it's really good. I would never pay $200 for that, though. It's just what it is. It's really interesting. Will it seems like it's been outkicking its coverage a little bit in the pricing market. I My local liquor store has, I think, five 10-year uh, Will it Purple Tops still sitting there because they want $500 for them. I feel like that's ridiculous. Is it good? Sure. It probably is really good. Is it worth it? No. I would rather get seven bottles that's just normal daily drinkers. So with that said, I wouldn't spend $200 on this skin. I would spend $80 on this. It's a good bourbon. It's delicious. I don't have anything wrong with it. It's just not worth the money. Uh, Will it? You're off your rocker. Sorry. Um, can't wait to hear from you. Right. If you see this, try a pour of it. Don't buy a bottle. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just tell yourself. I want to look at myself. I'm going to look at myself. Look at me. Six months ago, you're going to find this bottle. It's going to be $220. Don't buy it. You're welcome. But it's not a bad drink. Yeah, it's just not worth it. My name's Wade. This is Bourbon Hall. Appreciate y'all coming by, taking a look. Don't, don't buy this bottle. I don't know how many times I can say it. It's not worth it. It is cool, though. It looks really cool up on my bar. So I'm going to put it back on my bar. It's a very nice centerpiece. When I end up finishing all of it, I am going to refill it with cheap bourbon. Something like, hmm, what could I refill this with that would be really good just daily sipper? I have a few thoughts. Cooper's Craft 100 is what I'm going to fill it with. That's my that's my jam. That's my daily sipper. So, appreciate y'all. See you next time.